Hi, this is Fiji McAlpine with Do Yoga With Me. This is a fast, advanced practice with deep twists and fun arm balances. I hope you enjoy it. Let's start our practice today at the very front of our mat. We're gonna get warm quite quickly to move into a very fun pose. Bring your hands to your heart center, and on the inhale, reach your hands up. As you exhale, pour forward, soft knees, bringing the torso out over the legs. Inhale to come halfway up. And let's make it a more active forward fold as you exhale, exerting some force down into your hands, hugging your elbows in and engaging the core. Inhale halfway up again. And as you exhale, step back into downward facing dog. Lift and lower your heels together three times. Try and rise onto your toes and then plug back into your heels. Last two. Last one. With your next inhale, bring yourself forward to high plank. Squeeze the legs together. Use this pose as a way of generating internal heat. Try and focus on the core, hugging the navel back in towards the spine. Push energy straight back into your heels and out through the crown of your head. Now keep the strong energy down into your hands through your core as you float your right leg just a few inches off the mat. On your next inhale, take your right leg up into one-legged downward facing dog. Try and keep your hips and shoulders square to the floor here. Now before we move, I just want you to envision something in your mind. I want you to envision what it would feel like to be maybe punched in the stomach. I know that doesn't sound very nice, but it's gonna help us in this next movement. On the next exhale, I want you to draw your right knee into your chest, come forward and imagine oh, a little bit of sucking in right there, how your body would respond to that. That's the lift we're looking for. Inhale, take your right leg up. Can you do that for me twice more? Exhale, round the upper back, pull up and in. One more time, inhale and exhale. Now inhale, your right leg travels up. Do that same type of movement as you exhale your right knee to the outside of your right arm. How high can you get your right knee to touch? Do that one more time, inhale and exhale. Now inhale, the right leg travels up. Step your right foot between your hands, exhale, and push the pelvis down. Lift the heart slightly higher, push out into both feet. Bring yourself upright, arms overhead in your exalted base as you sink down into your legs. Lift your back heel. Now bring your palms together, bring your hands to your heart. Take your left elbow up and over your right knee. Lift your left hip up if it feels like it's sagging. Draw the navel in towards the spine and start to work the twist here, rolling the right shoulder back, tucking the left shoulder under. Can you go even lower in this, asking your left armpit to actually connect with your right kneecap? With the next inhale, reach your hands forward, come up. And as you exhale, bring the hands down to the floor. Inhale, the right leg travels to the sky again. And exhale, round the upper back, come forward. Inhale, reach up. Now take your right foot and wrap it around the back of your left wrist. Set it down on the outer edge of the foot. And just pause here for a moment, opening up the hips. Now slowly roll the entire sole of your right foot flat to the floor. Imagine again, sucking that navel in, rounding the upper back. See if you can invite your belly over your right thigh. Bend the right knee forward, push the hips down. Let's walk the hands shoulder distance apart. Hug up and in again with your navel and then maybe move to a place where you can bend your elbows. Look forward, right elbow free floating, not supporting anything. Left elbow supporting the outside of your right leg. Lean forward, maybe float the right foot, lean forward more, perhaps project back with your left leg. Try and breathe. And slowly return the feet to the mat. Walk your hands onto the mat. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale to plank. 
Find stability, find strength. Float the left leg. Take the left leg up towards the sky. On the next exhale, rounding the back as you come forward, nice and high with your foot. Inhale, lift up. Twice more, exhale. Inhale, lift. Last time, exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Now take that left knee to the back of your left arm. Nice rounding of your back. How high can you get your knee? Inhale, take that left leg up and step it through. Bringing the hips down, heart slightly higher. Inhale to your exalted base. Sink down into the legs. Exhale your hands to your heart. Lift up just a bit. Now turning so that right elbow crosses the left knee. Maybe a little deeper. Maybe you can get your right elbow to come past the knee so your armpit can rest on the kneecap. Try and keep the right hip lifting as you work this twist. Hug the belly in towards the spine. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Flex the foot. Now as you exhale, wrap the left foot around your right hand. Take a moment, let the hips sink down. Now is it possible for you to flatten the sole of that foot? Hug the navel in towards the spine. Bend the left knee as you walk your hands over. Hug the navel in. Rounding the back, working your way over, kneading the belly in towards the spine. Hands will be shoulder distance apart. Gaze is forward, bend your elbows, taking your right elbow against the back of your left leg, leaning forward, float the foot, and maybe project the right leg back. Bring the feet back down, hands onto your mat, left leg up, inhale. Knee to your chest, exhale. Inhale to plank. And exhale all the way down. Inhale, float to cobra. And exhale, release. Hook the ten toes under, inhale, plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your feet slowly to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. With the next inhale, lean into your hands, lift your heels, hop your feet back, and bring the knees to the ground. Cross your ankles, roll over your heels and extend the feet forward. On the next inhale, push up to reverse tabletop, lifting your hips, and then setting them in the very middle of your mat. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Inhale, float the hands forward. And exhale, push the feet out. Inhale, float your hands higher. And exhale, come all the way down. Take your arms over your head, stretch the toes down, stretch your hands up. And then separate the feet. Let your hands come down beside your hips and allow your eyes to close just so the mind and the body can weave together the movements, the strength that was created, the poses and the frames that were explored, the balance and the twists. The breath weaves all of these pieces together, eventually becoming that beautiful tapestry that is your practice knowing that how it looks today might not necessarily be what it looks like tomorrow, but it's beautiful and it's perfect each time. Bring your knees into your chest. Hold those knees. Rock all the way up to seat. Push the knees down. Sit as tall as you truly are. Bring your hands to your heart. Have gratitude for all that you are capable of doing today. 
Gratitude not only for your capability in your body, but the willingness and capability of your mind to go to those places. Keep that curiosity and passion alive in your practice. Until next we meet, namaste.